Hello, happy new year. Welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. So just to do a little bit of housekeeping, I really wanted to part. I really wanted to do one of those best and worst luxury purchases of the year videos. My girl Katie of My Closet Travels did one, and it was really amazing. She kind of made it like an award show. She assigned all of these different categories to her best and luxury purchases. She had like best runner up honorable mentions, whatever these different titles were. It was absolutely fantastic. Such a great video. I will go on ahead and link hers down below. And I even DM'd her and said, I would really love to do that video. You should make it a tag. It was fantastic. But guess what? I didn't make any luxury purchases for the whole year of 21. So I don't know if you want to give me a round of applause or say, oh no, the dread, like why not? realistically i just didn't i purchased one and a half kind of things i'm not really going to get into it um i can make a whole other video about that if you want to hear why my luxury purchases pretty much came to a halt in the year of 21 but you know in 22 i want to go ahead and bring it back flip it back do it again so i came up with a luxury wish list that you know these are some things that I kind of really want and some that I kind of really, 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 really want. So I came up with 22. I thought that would be cool because this is the year of 22. So let's get into it because I don't want to make the video too long. I'm not going to speak a lot about the details of each item. If you want to know more details about each item, you can ask me in a description box and I'll be happy to answer. And then there's always, you know, the idea of me actually describing it and discussing it in an unboxing let's manifest that i'm going to get some of these things that i really 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 want on my luxury wish list let's go on ahead and get started we move over a little bit because i'm going to be putting everything over here and i want to make sure that there's space we get this technical stuff out of the way look at me hitting the hitting the plant we move that over a little bit and let's get started I'm going to be looking down and putting on my glasses because, yes, I need to wear glasses to be able to see. And I want to stay focused. I want to stay organized so we can get through this. So the first item on my wish list is a Fendi Peekaboo. I am a big fan of the Fendi brand. In fact, Fendi is my favorite luxury house. This has been the case now for at least a decade. I do not have a Peekaboo. I must incorporate a Peekaboo into my handbag arsenal if that's what you want to call it no i have to have one it's it's number one on my wish list doesn't mean i'll get it first but i need to always mention that i need a peekaboo also i'm in need of a new tote i carry the same tote bag every single day i'm going to talk more about that also in another video but i think the sunshine tote is absolutely phenomenal i love the sunshine tote in both the large size and the medium size. Knowing me, I'm gonna go for the large size because you know, go big or go home, that's what I do. I love it in the brown. I believe Odd by Monica has it in that color with the beautiful tortoiseshell handle. I absolutely love it. I think it's stunning, but also in the medium size, I saw the navy blue and I think the navy blue is such a vibe. They've also started making it recently, I noticed, in a felt material. And the felt is the same price as the leather. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't pay the same price for any other material that I would pay for leather unless it was like, you know, something exotic, a python, a lizard, or an ostrich. But no, I wouldn't get the felt even though it is the bomb, aesthetically gorgeous, not for me for the Fendi Sunshine so it's got to be in a leather. So that is number two on my list. Number three, surprisingly, because I am usually not a big Louis Vuitton fan, not going to get all into that. I want to say more so I'm not really into the canvases, um, the monogram or the Damier bean or the Damier 
Azor, not so much. Anyway, I'm gonna digress because that's what I do. But we don't wanna do that today. We wanna talk about the luxury items I actually want and we want me to stay on track. We don't want me veering off the road, veering off the rails, whatever. We're gonna get to it. But from Louis Vuitton, the Capucines BB. No, the, well, the Capucines in any size. I don't wanna say BB because that's the smallest size, but I think the Capucines is absolutely gorgeous. And there's no one to blame for this except for Karis LV Lover CC. Her style is so classic so timeless and beautiful and her bag collection is insane she has a few capital scenes and i've just been looking at them and i've been like whoa the top handle of it all some of them have like an exotic handle i just think it's absolutely beautiful and i love the little lv right here in the middle i think it's spectacular so if i can incorporate a capital scenes into my luxury handbag collection i will so i am adding that to my wish list as well also with LV, I have been enjoying the LV twist lately. I think I just like it because it looks like a little bit of a gadget, the way you open and close with the actual LVs uh, right there in the front of the bag. I like the flap of it. Um, I was at Fashion File a few weeks ago with my girl Glow and we came across one and we just said, oh wow, this is spectacular. And neither of us are really like huge LV fans, but this one was in a sequence. It had the the floor de lis all over it. it. It was just beautiful. If I could find any footage for it, I will put it over here, but I'll definitely insert some pictures. Really enjoy the LV twist. It's on my list. I'm mentioning it now. It may be more so at the bottom of my list, but it's a luxury wish list. So I can wish, can't I? The LV twist. I'm also feeling like since this is a wish list, why not go ahead, write it down, put it on paper, say it, speak it into existence. I would like an Hermes Picotin. Picotin, I've been going back and forth with the Picotin for about four years. One, because it's affordable, but I've kind of been reluctant to dive into it, look for it, stalk it, and find one at the right plate, at the right price, because I'm usually a top handle kind of structured bag carrier that's just my preference but the picotine is a top handle it's just very slouchy i'm noticing now with the bag organizers that it does maintain its shape a little bit better and you know it's hermes so let me get it before the price really goes up and nothing there are no colors that are comparable to the hermes colors the way that hermes does colors is just phenomenal so i'm thinking that i would like it in a pink a yellow, an orange, possibly a green, some really, really beautiful color. And in a perfect world, I would like it to have the gold lock in the front because I prefer gold over palladium, I do. But in the right color combination, such as pink, I would definitely accept the, um, the palladium hardware. I've definitely added a Picotine to my list. And so, yeah, it's on the list. On my Christmas Christmas wish list, Christmas on my Christmas wish list, which was actually very short this year. I'm not going to get into that. I didn't do a video about it. It was actually very small. But I wanted the Fendi. I hope that I say this correct. It's the the micro baguette. I want to call it. And I felt like I would want something like that because I could wear it around my neck or wear it crossbody to carry my work keys in. Usually, whatever I'm wearing, I don't have any pockets and I don't like the idea of carrying keys. So I just thought it would be really cute, give some Mrs. Coy style even while I'm at work. And so I thought that that baguette would be pretty dope. So I'm going to keep that on my list. Uh, it's a little bit expensive for what it is, but I would certainly be driving down the cost per wear if I carry it every day. So why not? I think that would just be incredible. And they make them in so many different leathers. I want the monogram or the traditional FF logo because that's what I do. I'm all about the logos, the logos, and the logos, just what I like. But all of them are super cute. So I'm adding the Fendi Baguette to my wish list. And I've also been thinking that if I do not get the Baguette, then I've also added the Chanel card flap wallet. 
to my list because they come in so many different colors. They're just, they're they're really, really pretty. And then I like the idea of being able to have the, the back pocket on the card wallet, like the Mona Lisa pocket, so that I could add my ID. And I could always just add a strap. It's a fraction, of, not a fraction, but it's at least half the price of the Fendi Baguette. Even when I go ahead and add the strap, it could be in a beautiful color. And so I figured I could possibly do that. So. I have also added the Chanel card flap, no, the Chanel card wallet with a flap to my 22 luxury wish list. Next up, a vanity case. I've really been enjoying vanity cases over the past couple of years. I came so, 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 so close to getting one last year, but I like the Chanel vanity case. I am loving, love, love, loving the Goyard vanity case. And Goyard is not as talked about as it should be because Goyard is phenomenal. And I'm the person who may like a style of something that is hitting heavy in the hood because I like trends, but I always want to flip it just a little bit. And I think that Goyard would 100% give me the opportunity to flip it. So I love the Goyard vanity case. That would definitely have to be gifted to me because it's super expensive. But also, even last year, I requested a Gucci vanity case, which is so much more affordable. I requested that, I believe, for Mother's Day. My son attempted to get it for me from Fashion File, and then something very weird happened through no fault of Fashion File. It's just that as he was doing it, it, it didn't end up working out. So I'm going to go ahead and add that Gucci vanity case back to my wish list, but this time it's going to be for 22. I hope that this time there's no drama with it because I think it'll be pretty cute to have a little Gucci vanity case or any vanity case, but I want the Gucci, you know, add it, add it to my collection. I like the fact that I could add a strap to it or carry it top handle. And I love the Gucci monogram, especially with the red and, red and green. I'm all for that classic Gucci. Love it. Timeless. Need it adding that to my luxury wish list. Next up, let's talk about some footwear. Why not? I don't have any designer sneakers. I love the idea of it. I love sneakers because I kind of like to dress laid back, edgy and cool. And to me, nothing translates better to my style than sneakers. But why don't I have any? I don't know. So I'm going to add a pair of Chanel sneakers to my wish list because I like the classic of it all, but then I like the style of it because it's Chanel. Definitely the Hermes sneakers. I love these because this particular sneaker is like a classic style, almost like a skip is what we've always called it growing up, but it has that beautiful H. I would probably go for it with either the pink H or the orange H. I just think that these are really cool. I love them. I also like the off-white sneaker because, and, and this is probably of the three sneakers, my absolute favorite because this is different. I don't, I don't imagine seeing a lot of people wear them. I like the, just everything about it is, is flashy. It has the green on it. The green is my favorite color. The green with the black and the white is just dope. I could think of so many different ways to style it. So these are the three sneakers that I am adding, the three pairs of sneakers that I'm adding to my luxury wish list, the Chanel, the Hermes, and the Off-White. Which one would you choose? So far within my list, is there anything that you agree with? Is there anything that you disagree with? Please make sure that you're commenting, talking to me, letting me know your thoughts, interacting. Let's make our luxury wish list for 22 together. Now let's talk shoes. Gotta talk shoes. What girl isn't a shoe girl? We're all shoe girls at heart. Would you agree? First up, I love a heel. I love a classic shoe. Usually, if you find the right one, they can be absolutely timeless. I love it. But for this particular luxury wish list item, I want the mock and mock or Mac and Mac shoe in the flat. Why am I choosing the flat? I think because it's so unexpected, it's, it, it's new, and I like the idea of having something that's extremely comfortable, but with the pointed toe. If I'm gonna do a flat, it needs to have a pointed toe because 
even though it's a flat shoe, it's still going to elongate you because of the pointed toe. Don't say it, Kawana, you don't need to be elongated. You're already tall. You're five, ten and a half. I can be elongated. It just would make my outfit pop. Imagine a long, wide leg pant with that bow and pointed toe sticking through at the bottom. And I'm comfortable because it's a flat. The mock and mock flat or Mac and Mac flat definitely added to my wish list. I don't really have a preference of color, but I don't necessarily want black either, but I would do black. Next up, this Jimmy Ju, this Jimmy Ju, this Jimmy Chu pump. I think it comes in two different variations. They have the sandal style, but then they also have the pump style. How cute is this? It has the, the each of the shoes are different. One of the shoes has a bow around the ankle. It's like this beautiful satin, almost organza bow. And the other shoe has the bow on the front. You see how it's flipping the script with the different each foot is different, but the same. I think that's so fly. And I know that I'm putting it over here in black. That was the first one that I found, but they also have it in pink and I would definitely go for the pink. This is a classic timeless shoe. Could do this all day. I think it's, it's bad. Next, the Hermes loafers. Again, with a flat shoe and I don't really gravitate towards flats that much, but this would be a timeless shoe. When is a loafer not the thing? I know that it's hitting very hard right now with the Prada and all of the other thicker soles, but an Hermes loafer, timeless forever. Imagine it with a skirt. Imagine it with an ankle pant. Just almost anything. I, 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 I just... I love them. They're so classic and timeless. And imagine... I like it with the... Um, with the kelly buckle but i definitely like it with the h logo because go ahead say it with me i like a logo it's just what i like but any hermes loafer i i, I think i would welcome 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 into my closet so i have added that well i have added those to my wish list as well and last up for shoes i've actually heard so many people mention this shoe it's on almost everybody's wish list, but I can add it to mine because it's a wish list, right? The Versace Medusa platform shoes. Oh my goodness. I saw these in person a few months ago. If you watched my Come With Me to New York City, Saks Fifth Avenue vlog, they are just incredible. It's almost as if they have like three platforms. They just keep building upon each other. The square toe, the whole thing is absolutely fantastic. If I'm being honest, it's beautiful and platforms are definitely um, on trend for right now, but I don't think it, I don't, it's on my wish list. So if anybody wants to buy it from me, come on, bring it on. Yeah, 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 I'll take it. But I believe I could find a dupe of this shoe, at least something that's gonna give me that silhouette and that style, because I don't think that this particular shoe is timeless. And for the price, is that about, I want to say it's $1,400, but don't quote me, but it's at least $1,000. At that price, I don't know because I don't think I'd be able to really get my cost per wear, but I love the style of this shoe. This is a wish list, so why not? I'll go ahead and add it. But I think that it would be something that I could find in a dupe, and I will be doing a video down the road about why I choose dupes or what dupes I'm going to choose for this year, that whole thing. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because I have more to come. I'm all about luxury. I love luxury, the whole thing, but I also believe in sales, affordability, and making very conscious and smart purchases. So you follow me, you rock with me, you're going to really, really learn how to save your coin. You're going to spend it too, but I'm also going to show you a lot of saving tips because I don't pay full price for nothing. Did I say I wasn't going to digress? Yet I have. Let's get back to the wish list. Where were we? Oh, we're up to some clothing. Let's talk about some clothes. Leggings. I love leggings. They're just so easy. Why not throw on a legging? And if it could be a luxury legging, why not? Check out these Givenchy leggings. I first saw these on Lux and Lipstick. She has them in black. These are all of the feels. 
So when she mentioned how comfortable they are, the sizing and the whole thing, I was already on my I was already on my tablet like yo where when how and then I saw them in other colors. Now they are a thousand dollars for a pair of leggings, but I'll tell you, I'll be wearing leggings to the grave. I've been wearing leggings since the '80s for real. Since that video with Raw Base, it takes two. I've really been wearing leggings since at least 1986, whether they were in a biker style short or not. I just wear them, so I definitely feel like I could get my cost per wear out of these Givenchy leggings. Love them, or also I would be so inclined to enjoy a Burberry legging, especially these. Look at just how high-waisted they are. When something goes all the way up your waist, it cinches you in at the waist, and then it makes those hips kind of pop, and it's giving you that, you know, the Jessica Rabbit vibe. And what woman doesn't want that beautiful hourglass silhouette? So those are the two leggings that I have on my wish list. And because Fendi is my favorite fashion house, I believe I want some sort of a Fendi top. Not with the calligraphy logo. I want to stick with the traditional FFs. Very likely in a long sleeve. I don't necessarily want the short sleeve shirt because even with a long sleeve, very often in the right fabric, you can wear it all year round. I don't want to be limited as to when I can wear something, especially at that price. Yeah, I get it. Luxury is supposed to be like extravagant and everything, but I'm not frivolous. I still have to make sense of any purchase or potential purchase, even if it's just a wish, right? So I would love to have a beautiful Fendi top in any of these versions. What do you all think? Next, we're going to talk about some fashion jewelry. And that's how we're going to close out with the jewelry because who doesn't want like a little bit of bling or a lot of bling and some sparkle. Anyway, the YSL brooch. I just think that 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 it, look, look at how, how sharp the angles are with the Y and then it ends with the L. I think it would just look fabulous on anything. It would complement any any top, any jacket, any hat. You can wear it on almost anything, and um, I think it's quite affordable. So I think the YSL brooch would love to have it, so I'm definitely adding it to my luxury wish list of 22. I would also like the Fendi First earrings. My husband purchased the Fendi First ring for me for Christmas. If you haven't checked out my what I got for Christmas video, I will link it down below so you can check that out. But the Fendi first earrings are just super duper cute. I know that I'd be able to wear them every day. I could wear them to work. I could wear them on the weekend. I could do the whole thing. So, and they're, did I already say that they're adorable? I really like them. So I have added the Fendi first earrings to my wish list for 22 and the Fendi brooches. Now, I like them, but I have to question, I have to be honest with myself. Do you like the Fendi brooches, Kiwana, because they're Fendi and Fendi is your favorite, or do you really like the Fendi brooches? And I say that because each of them are enamel, whether it's in black or white. And I have a couple of um, Hermes click, click clack bracelets. And one of the things that I really don't appreciate about the price of them is the fact that they're enamel. Even though everything I'm talking about is fashion jewelry, I'm just not sure. So I don't know if the Fendi brooches are something I would buy for myself, but this is a wish list. Feel free to come over to my wish list and purchase for me any of the items that I'm talking about. No one has to be discerning about what they are buying me that's on my wish list. This is just me being discerning about how I would actually buy things in what order on my wish list but the Fendi brooches are super cute I absolutely love them oh my goodness am I done oh my goodness I think that completes my luxury wish list and and I have to watch this back but I don't even think that I was too long-winded this time I may have done it I hope I didn't leave anything out but guess what if I did, I could always add to my wish list. It's a wish list, right? The list could be infinite. It can go on and on and on and on and on. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I thoroughly hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you are coveting in 22, what it is that you desire. Share your wish list with me. I would love to know. I would love to hear what you're purchasing. Let me know your thoughts on my wish list. And you know, manifest. Let's manifest. Let's speak everything that we want into existence. I hope that you all will have a wonderful, healthy, and happy year of 22. Wishing the best to you and your families. If you haven't subscribed, please do come back and watch me in another video. Remember that everything I've shared in this video and every one of my videos is me to a C. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.